Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and this is the second time for me checking out the Precision Knife Works Warn Tech. Now, this one is pretty much the finished production. The first one I checked out, you know, I had, you know, a couple uh, things that, you know, I thought could be changed or whatever, and um, they have been. This thing has been upgraded and updated, and... <laughs> It's extremely, extremely well done. I am very, very impressed with this one. So let's go through it. Now, the final production is going to be the satin. So you see this one is the hollow. So he's planning on doing the belt satin finish on the hollow. It is a 20 CV worn cliff blade, 140,000 thick, nice and thin behind the edge. We'll go over that here in a second. Titanium frame lock. T8 hardware all the way around, titanium milled pocket clip. You can see we have the standoffs back there, lots of milling on the inside, very lightweight. And there is a lot of things that make this thing very awesome. And we're going to go through them. So, one, the blade and geometry. Um, they said it was 21 thousandths behind the edge. I find on my calibers it's actually a little bit thinner, but, you know, Basically between, you know, 18 and 21 thousandths. So nice and thin blade geometry. It's going to pass through things very nicely. And the blade, um, the, the tapering down to the tip is very acute. So this thing is going to be a precision beast. Now the handle. The beauty of this knife is these two combined. Because the blade and the handle work and balance out so good together, it makes it to where... So, one, the, the problem with the, the last one, or the, the first production, it had a, uh, a giant finger choil that, that was, you know, not, not big enough for the finger, but also too big for a sharpening choil. Now, backed it up, made it a regular sharpening choil, and you can see where the plunge grind lands you know, pretty easily. So, plenty of room to lay back your angle or, you know, sharpen it, you know, resharpen it a couple times. And now the handle allows you to get nice and tight to that edge. So you don't need a finger choil. So you can block the ch choil, and, you know, with your hand or you can naturally stay back here. The way the handle tapers, it just works so comfortably in the hand, even for the push cuts, you know, the, the way the, the spine lays across my palm is nice and comfortable. It's, I could handle a lot of pressure with this thing. Then, even if I flip it around and I wanna cut straps or, you know, grab a belt or a rope and, you know, snag it and cut it, the way it um, lays across my fingers, very, very comfortable there too. You can use this somewhat of a, a finger guard a little bit back here, but the spine offers this perfectly well done jimping that gives you a ton of traction. So you're not going to slip up the handle or anything like that. Um, it's softened around the edges nicely, so it's... Yeah, super duper comfortable. Now the pinch grips. Like I said, this thing is going to be a precision beast. So in pinch grips, it's going to work great. Your finger on the spine, you could do lots of detailing work, going around things. The way the handle and the blade complement each other, this thing is amazing. Now, access to the lock bar, very generous. You see how they soften that up, knocked it, knocked it back right here. This is very well done right here and very easy to access the lock bar. Detent, nice and early, very easy to get past. And I will say, man, KPL does some wonders. Um, when I was first deploying this and using it, it was nice and smooth, but the second I put some KPL heavy on that detent ball, and some uh, KPL original on the bearings, this thing got very, very smooth. Nice sound to it, and the whole deployment, um, and I'm gonna go to the left to the left hand here in a second, but lots of access for that whole deployment. You can thumb flick it, but you do have to, uh, 
bring your thumb down pretty far, at least for my thumb. I, I can get it up high, but not uh, reliably without throwing a lot of pressure in there. But it works. You can see I'm, I'm doing it over and over, so it, it works. But the reverse flick is where it's at. Now, lefties. You see we have a reversible deep, sorry, a reversible milled clip so you can flip it over to this side, right? So if you flip it over, you're going to be putting pressure on the lock bar, but you can do it. Um, you're, it's going to give you stronger detent. So, you know, you're going to have to deal with a little bit of a strong detent, but I guarantee you'll have no problem doing it. Now, if for some reason, and this isn't for this model, this means for all titanium frame locks where your thumb gets in the way. If you're finding that this is building too much tension, back your thumb up so you can keep it in the same spot. Just kind of move the leverage from right here to back here, and it will make the detent a lot lighter, if that makes sense. So instead of putting the pressure forward on this part, back your pressure up to back here, and you will find that your detents will be a lot lighter. But this one works great, even with the pressure on there. Um, it just strengthens the detent up a little bit. Now, man, <laughs> the detent is solid, man. It works great. Um, and like I said, the hold, you have so much leverage with the hole. It has a, not a sharp edge, but, you know, it's an edge that's sharp enough to get some snap, you know. It's not softened to where you're, you're skipping off of it or anything like that. The look of it, great looking knife, good size. I mean, the clip, I did put it in and out of the pocket. I didn't get in any on film, but, you know, it works great in and out of the pocket. One thing they are going to change, they are going to make that screw flush. You see the, the screw to the plate that is going to be flush or to the insert, I should say. Also, they said they're going to knock down. I, I'm kind of confused. They said something about softening the edges around the lock bar, the lock bar relief. I'm guessing they mean right here. So this little corner right there, which wouldn't be no problem. I personally don't even think it's an issue as is. But, you know, it wouldn't hurt to soften it up. So um, I don't have a problem with it now, but maybe, maybe they do. Now, beautiful knife. Extremely, extremely functional. However, let's talk about the price and all that good stuff. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on one second. The, the weight on it. 3.6 ounces. You know, why don't you guys just look at it yourself. 3.6 ounces. Cutting edge is 3.3 inches. Handle length is 4.5 inches. Overall length is 8 inches. Great size. Perfect, perfect size. And then, like I said, they said that uh, 21,000 is behind the edge. It's a little thinner in my opinion, but, you know. Um, after you sharpen it, it'll probably probably be right around there. And then you can see ceramic caged bearings, ceramic detent ball, um, all the hardware is titanium. The whole thing is made out of titanium except for the pivot, which is hardened steel. Now, 325. 325. Oh, yeah. Also, I forgot to mention this. Why didn't I say this? I'm such an idiot. They're going to add some micro milling on the handles, which... Sounds cool to me. I love micro milling. Um, so that that sounds like that'll be awesome. Micro milling and then um, belt sand finish. So yeah, they're gonna add the micro milling on there, and then like I said, the the softening of the lock bar. Three twenty five. Let's talk about the price. So. In my heart, I feel that it, that it's a little overpriced, just a little bit. But let, let me reel it back really quick. The OEM has to make their money. The designer has to make their money. He's been going back and forth with this for a while. He's put a lot of work into this. This is a damn good knife. And things are done to the extent of which I see $325 here. So I, I don't mind the price that much. But I know, like... A lot of people are going to think about it like, man, you can get a USA made knife for three, you know, a little over 300 bucks with the same materials. Um, so I know that argument is going to be there. 
But, you know, you have to consider there, there's no, you know, they're doing it in-house and all that stuff. So, you know, I'm not going to sit here and go and, you know, beat a horse with with this. But, you know, it does feel like it's on the higher side. However, I can see and I feel that it's justified. Um, it It's definitely on the higher side, but it is so well done that I'm really not that upset at it. And to be honest, I, I don't know the pricing of which, you know, I don't think he's beating the buyers up. I don't think, and I want to be clear about that. I don't think that he's overcharging in any way. I don't think it has anything to do with, with uh, the designer. Um, I would just say with the OEMs and everything, you know, it does bring the price up. Um, and, you know, like I said, you know, going back and forth and all that stuff. I don't know all the finer details, but the knife feels like very good quality. And I, I'm, I would pay it. So that's what I, I guess I'm trying to say. I would pay three twenty five for this. Um, especially because, you know, it's so well done. Um, hopefully, I, and I'm guessing the final production, you know, it's only going to be even better, especially with the micro milling and everything. Good looking knife, super duper functional. The lockup and um, the geometry of the lock face is done extremely well. No play, any direction. I've already gave it some stress tests. It is very, very solid. The stop pin. The my if I was gonna have any, uh, not even a complaint. Not not so. Don't take this the wrong way. This is not a complaint at all. I'd prefer an internal stop pin that's uh on a track you know that that's hooked to the blade where the blade actually has the stop pin attached to it or that's a pin and it, it, it's on a track but anyways not a big deal this type of stop pin is great it's not a horrible size it's not overly large it's not too small it's just the right size i think this is fine and it's got a nice shoulder to lock up as you can see the lock up engages perfectly Yeah, I'm loving it. So each knife is going to be shipped with a pouch and a COA card with stickers included. Um, each knife will be serialized um, on the COA card to help keep track of them. Now, the pre-orders will open up the last week of August, first week of September. That's what they're looking at, so... Think, you know, right around there, the pre-order, they're going to start with 300 knives, but if there are more pre-orders that come in, they will allow more to be ordered. So there you guys go, man. I think, uh, I think it's super solid, man. I, I like I said, I, I do like it. I just, you know, it ticks these, the little boxes that some knives don't when it comes to, how the blade and handle function together so well um the grind the blade the sound you know it's checking a lot of boxes here materials um very very cool and you know it's so comfortable in the hand it just works really at least in mine but there you guys go i love you guys thank you guys for watching peace